Amazing, yeah, as I said that in there, like uh, to have uh, so many people come to a charity game and uh, support me and Russ's um, um, charities is uh, amazing, you know, just the uh, support you get from the uh, people in Norwich is brilliant and, um, you know, you see obviously getting promoted, helped and stuff like that and um, this is a fantastic atmosphere and I don't think you'd probably get anywhere else in uh, the league, you know, uh, 20,000 people uh, coming to watch you play in a charity game, you know, so, um, you know, fair play to the fans. Was it almost as emotional as your last game here? No, it wasn't actually, you know, I got out of the system, uh, I did it and, um, you know, um, I was just here to have a good time and enjoy myself and, uh, you know, uh, Russ got the send off he deserved and um, it was brilliant, you know what I mean, for, um, and especially all the lads that came, you know, 30 players come and um, help out, you know, they hold an affection to the club, you know, everybody comes back here, you know, it's, um, it's an important city and uh, everybody lo- loves it here. And, and no matter how, how what stage of the, the career the players are at, they all want to have a good game, they all want to try a trick, they all want to score a goal, don't they? And it never leaves you. No, it never leaves you, you know, it was uh, upstairs, you're all having a yap and all that and uh, Hooks is in the corner not talking to anybody. You know, he's just psyched up. He was like, you know, ready for the game. Like, and uh, you know, it's it's brilliant because uh, obviously he wants to win, he wants to do well, he wants to score goals, and uh, you know, fair play to all the lads. You know, um, they put a good shift in, and um, you know, uh, you know, I wanted it to be an entertaining game, I wanted it to be loads of goals and stuff like that, and uh, I think we think we got that. As a championship player, what have you made of Norwich City this season? Yeah, they've been brilliant. You know. Um, I've Come and watch them a few times with my little boy, and um, they're probably yeah they are the best team in the league, you know, and it proves it. You know, they come top, and um, you know they're um, they're a joy to watch, and they're, they're clinical when they get up front. So yeah, um, uh, it's brilliant for them. It's brilliant for the city as well. You know, uh, the fans always stick by us and uh, stick by them, and um, yeah, it's amazing, amazing achievement. Yeah, and you played with some of the players that have been involved this year in, in their first season. Yeah. You can see that they've benefited from having a bit of time to get used to the championship. Can't yeah, you? I think when um, when the first uh, when Daniel came in and a lot of new players come in and people were thinking like it's, you know it needs to happen straight away you know it takes time it takes time to gel uh, new players together a lot of players left a lot of senior players went and stuff like that and that's that's how it that's what happens you know when we got promoted a lot of players left and new players come in and it'll happen again but um, it's brilliant that um, you know that in in a year and a half that we get promoted in um, in, in the spell under Daniel. You've done this journey before from Championship to Premier League. What's it going to be like for them in August when they get to play at that level for the first time? Yeah, it's going to be like amazing. You know, you'll have goosebumps and and uh, stuff like that. But um, you know, it's important that they probably stick stick with the youth and stick with the players they have now and add a few more. You know, you don't want to change it uh, drastically. You know, stick with the boys that got you there. I think, and uh, you know, hopefully give it a good go. If you could give those players one word of advice for next season, what would it be? Enjoy every minute of it. You know, um, when you're playing it, you don't realise how quick it can go. You know, uh, you know, going to Old Trafford and um, yeah, the Etihad, you know, places like that, it's special. And, um, you know, hopefully they, they can enjoy every minute and hopefully, you know, put in good performances. I don't know how many of the, the celebrations, how much of the, the celebration, the champagne you got to see this morning, but it looks like this team enjoyed it almost as much as your team from a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, they did, yeah. You know, uh, I was speaking to Mickey and I said, oh, did you just go on and bend her for a few days and stuff like that? Because we, we were literally, we got promoted on the Monday and we were on the we were on the piss till Saturday until the, the game against Coventry so uh, <laughs> I hope the boys did the same you know but obviously they had to uh, get promoted obviously uh, to win the league on um, against uh, Villa so I think obviously probably had a, a different week uh, planned ahead of them <laughs> you might <laughs> say that I think yeah. I, I, <laughs> you know I mean they probably won it you know it's, it's 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 great yeah going up but as champions it's even better yeah Great stuff, boys. Well done today. Cheers, Cheers, Tom, and um, in terms of West Brom, what's coming up? I mean, how do you see that going? Because there's some big games coming up there. Yeah, massive games. You know, obviously, we knew uh, a couple of weeks ago we were going to be uh, in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, it's a massive game against Villa in the, in the next uh, 10 days. So, um, you know, the boys will be ready for it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can get, get to the Wembley final and get, and get promoted. What's impressed you most about Norwich and how they've done it this year? Um, what was impressing me is how they uh, keep going until the final whistle. You know, they scored a lot of late goals and um, they kept going and going. And uh, the belief, you know, you know, once you start getting goals like that, the confidence goes. We had them when we got promoted, yeah. you know, under Lambert. We kept scoring the last five, ten minutes. And, uh, you know, it pays off. You just keep going till the end and, and uh, you eventually you eventually put teams to the sword. And just a word but with, with Daniel, because, I mean, he, he pulled all that team together, hasn't he? And, and I guess there were the signs of it last year. But to then get it to click so well this year is... Yeah, it does. It takes time. 
um, you know, obviously Daniel's come in to do a uh, championship, you know, a new division. He's, he's not a uh, manager that, uh, at that level. And, um, you know, did, you know, people are expecting miracles straight away, but it doesn't happen. You know, we lost a lot of good players, a lot of new players come in through the youth. And um, it's, it's amazing that how, how, it's, how it's turned around. Will they have to do much differently next year? Do you think how they go um, about it? Obviously, it's a, it's a completely different league. You know, the standards are a lot higher, but, uh, you know, obviously stick to, stick to the way they're playing and hopefully, you know, with a bit of luck, they can, um, they can hold their own in the league.